Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating and linking a new group policy object to an OU inside of our Active Directory. Now, I'm currently logged on to my primary domain controller, DC1. I have Server Manager up and running. Let's review our Active Directory users and computers and see exactly what it is we will be doing. So, I'm going to open up my Active Directory users and computers, and from here, we're going to take a look at all of our users. And we're going to take a look at that new organizational unit we created in a previous unit. This is my payroll container, and I need to put some users in there. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop a couple of default users in here real quick. So I've got Susie Jones. I'm going to drop her in there. Go ahead and accept the warning. That's fine. I can drop my test user. Let's see. I'll do Susie Smith admin. That's fine. Drop them into the payroll as well. So now I have two users inside of the payroll container, and I want these individuals to have a different group policy setting for users and possibly computers that will not affect everyone else in the organization. Let's see how we do that. So let's return back on over to our server manager, and from here, let's go to Tools, and let's select Group Policy Management. Once the Group Policy Management snap-in does open up, you're going to see that we have our group policy management, we have our forest, underneath there we have our domains, and underneath here for our current domain that we're currently using group policy assigned to, if we open that up you can see all the different containers that are currently available to us. So once I find the container that I want to create this new group policy object for, I'm just going to right click on it. In this case that would be payroll, so I'm just going to right click and I'm going to select from the context menu Create a new GPO in this domain and link it here. Let's give it a user-friendly name so that we can quickly identify it if the need arises. So I'm just going to call this payroll group policy object. I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. So now if I go back to the container to which the group policy object was created for and I expand it, you will see that there is a new group policy object assigned to it. And if I right-click on that group policy object, you will see that there is a link enabled option that is already configured for us. So now with this group policy object in place and link to this container, we can go to edit and you can see, let me go ahead and enlarge this, that we have two different configurations that we can change here for the computers and for the users. So now if I go down to the users configuration and I expand that, you'll see that we can go into the different settings that we can control using group policy that is assigned to this particular container. For example, if we open up the administrative templates, go ahead and expand this left window just a little bit, you'll see that we have the control panel. If I open this up, we'll see that we have all these options over here that we can control access to for the control panel and that the user can be restricted or allowed to have. For instance, the add remove programs. Here I can add or hide certain programs up inside of the control panel that I do not want the user to have access to or I want them to have access to. This, this gets very granular very quickly. So if you just want to remove the add and remove programs completely, all you have to do is just double click this particular setting for that administrative template and you'll see currently that it's not configured. That means that the user does have access to the control panel. Disable is the same thing as not restricting the user from accessing the control panel. They have full access. If I enable it, the user will not be able to access their control panel up inside of their machine when they log on. And that's how you create a new group policy object and link it to a container inside of your Active Directory users and computers.